Hey guys, it's another Saturday commentary from Michael. We're bringing you r the Jelly Palace, um, and how to beat it, somewhat. Now, I recommend that you have a party, because this will be hell on earth if you go solo. I mean, I can't even beat it with normal tier 2 armor, because it's all I have, and it's a tier 2 boss. So, you know, logic flawed, but whatever, I'm not gonna make a huge deal about it. So what you want to do is, you probably want to get with a, a tier 3 buddy, or someone that's good at Spiral Knights, or at least, at least knows how to play it safe, like this guy, my friend named Angel God. So uh, I'm just going to turn down my volume. Okay. So anyway, generally to play safe, you want to charge up and then unleash, or if you have a caliber like I do, you can just swing three times. And they'll knock them back if they're charging up. So one, two, three, and they can knock them back. So generally, what I like to do is break these things so they have crowns or um, other stuff like switches. So um, you don't have to grab these, but I recommend it. You, they could sell them for like three crowns every time. So I recommend that you break some. It's convenient now. What we're doing is you have two sides to go left or right. So we're choosing right just because it doesn't really matter. So what I do is I go down here, that gives me more distance, and I just charge up and I just run in the middle and spam and then retreat. It's it's kind of a cowardly tactic, but it's it's safe. So go back in, retreat, grab the loot, run up. Cause this is where my ally will be, and he probably killed all the enemies by now. So I'm just gonna run in, twirl, run away, and take care of that one. So now everyone on the right side's done. So now we're gonna take care of the left side because that's easy. This switch is down there, and charge up. And now I have these guys again. Now, fun fact: that, that counter on top of him means when he's gonna explode. So when he explodes, he'll have those scattering. Um, uh, red spheres, they also explode, so you want to get away from those as fast as possible. So then afterwards you just fight them all as normal, you know, spin or hit three times, or derp like me and hit that box. So grab the vials, etc, etc. Um, maybe get rid of this. Yeah. Derp. Oh god, that's gonna be an obsession. I'm probably gonna end up using that in my normal vocabulary. Like a retard. So, you wait over here for your ally too, and then... You wanna twirl against those, um... Those constructs, cause they will give you a hard time. They will stun you if they hit you once. And when you're stunned, you can't really do much against anything. So, you wanna just play it normally as you would against everything else. Or run around them because they can't hit you, and then go in for a nice clean swipe. If you really want to help out your ally, then you can just get rid of these little things around them because they are annoying, but they don't—they actually do a lot of damage. And that was some nice leg. Thanks, JavaScript. And as you see, I got stunned, meaning I can't really do anything, so I have to hold down my shield so I don't get damage. And he's gonna hit me, shield. You want to take out those fairies first, they, they heal your enemies, so just run up, give them a good swipe. They should be dead with any tier 3 weapon, uh, any tier 2 weapon. It's If you have a, like an ascended caliber like I do, that works wonders, two hits will kill them. And when they have green bubbles above their head, that means they're dead, and they're gonna drop their loot. So, when you have a, so um, if you have something that's not an auto gun, you can just use it and take care of those slimes and constructs. When you have an, an auto gun like me, um, it doesn't do much damage in slimes and constructs, so here I'm kind of screwed. But, it, I mean, it does decent. It does six and it's three times. Or four, I can't count. So, it's a moderate amount of damage, but nothing that's really gonna be helpful in this. So, as you can see, leftovers, just do traditional. Don't let them hit the, 
Don't let them get you, and, you know, just shield when they're gonna hit, etc, etc. Same, same normal stuff that you get do against every enemy. Now, what? Oh, yeah, and at the end of there, there's a statue that you use to hold down one of those pads so that you can go forward. So, now, we completed one, one half of this. Now, I gotta go trigger the other half. So what I like to do here is that... Okay, so when he hits the middle, a bunch of enemies are gonna spawn. So what I like to do is just hang out right here, and kill these turrets as soon as possible, because they are a pain, and I do not like constructs. And... A fun thing to do when only the turrets are left, you can just run around the turrets and have your, en uh, have your ally kill them. It makes the turrets just spin around in circles trying to hit you, when in reality it won't do anything. Or you could just go up and piss them off like that. Either way. I, I like the spinning method just because it's trollish. So as you can see, I'm starting to run low on health. You, you don't want to heal. Well, if, if you can, you don't want to heal. And you, whatever you do, do not revive using energy, because you're gonna need that for the royal battle if you f screw up. Like I probably will two or three times. So, run back, hit these guys right in the face. Um, use that pill, because there's one right up there. And... Damn, it got hit again. I'm so pro. Use these stuns, because I don't want them. I want the poison. Stuns are kind of shit. No, ooh, an 8. An 8 Vitapod. It's decent. Wish I had a 9. Now, why am I still getting damage? Okay. So, that's typical run up. Shwalalalalalalala fail, but whatever. Give me this vial. Let him take care of the work, because he's clearly better than me. And maybe just finish slap him. That works. Grab all the heart and stuff. Cause I am a nub. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder who else there's one more mechanite spawner in this level, which that you kind of want when you're fighting the royal jelly. Cause um you want you want this is probably my recommendation. Two mecha knights, three fire, three poison, three pills. If you can't get the mecha knight, then just compromise on something. You want to you want to keep both of them right before the final battle with the jelly, right after the mini jelly spawn. You want to just um, run around them and use your mechanite so that they'll target the mini jellies and not the royal jelly. Because you you can probably take on the royal jelly yourself if they weren't for the mini jellies, because they're just annoying. That's um, basically it. So you just have s or well actually or if you have a tier three guy, there's a um, there's a salt bomb. That if you use it against the jelly, it basically just kills them. It's like the I forget what it's called. The um I can't remember right now. It's like the iodized salt bomb, and it does wonders against these things. Uh, damage versus slimes equals high, but it's it's a it's a five star weapon, so it's pretty hard to. So, got some minor lag there, still running around. Don't hurt me, I'm only... Almost 16. Derp. Run around. Don't want to get hit. Oh god. Yeah, this is a pretty bad commentary. Run up. And that's one down. We still got those, ex that ex those exploding slimes. There's one down. Two down. Just gotta run in, grab their stuff, get out. Gel core. Oh god, I'm always afraid of those. Oh no, not these guys. Whoop! Bitch, stop right in the noses. Come to think of it, what's the anatomy of a slime?